Hey, I'm Olivia Waxman, and welcome back to GCTV. We will still be voting on who's who. Ballots have been emailed to your school email, so continue to keep checking those. And now, a special Hall of Fame announcement. Hello everyone, I'm Liana O'Neill, the Reflections Yearbook Advisor for George County High School. Every year the teachers and staff select senior students who have excelled in many of our academic and elective programs. Not only have these students excelled during their senior year, but also in all four years while at George County High School. These students would normally be recognized at our senior class night, but of course during this time of uncertainty many of our presentations have changed. So now, I would like to present to you the Hall of Fame for the Class of 2020 of George County High School. Congratulations to these seniors. Let's give them a round of applause. Now, Hall of Fame winners, be on the lookout for an email from me. This will have important information about how you will be featured in the 2020 yearbook. So check your emails. Finally, congratulations to the class of 2020. I wish you all the best. I know that all of you are very capable of great things, and I can't wait to see what all you accomplish. Bye. Congratulations, seniors. And speaking of seniors, I caught up with some of them this week to see what their plans are for after graduation. Hey guys, it's Rance here. Uh, I just wanted y'all to know, I hope y'all are safe. And uh, I just wanted to say where I'm going to college, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go to Perk and then go to an engineering program. And then I'll probably go into the military and do some stuff, some branch. It'd be pretty cool, I guess. Uh, y'all stay safe. Uh, I'm not driving, I promise. Uh, Bye. Hey, my name is Kevin McDonald, and after high school, I plan to attend Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College and pursue an industrial engineering degree. Hey, guys, my name is Susie LaBert. I will be attending William Carey University next year on a softball scholarship, and I plan to study physical therapy. Hello, my name is Christian Glass, and this fall I'll be attending the University of Southern Mississippi. I will be majoring in biological sciences, and my ultimate goal is to do something in orthopedics. I'm not entirely sure what yet. But uh, hopefully maybe one day uh, after I finish my bachelor's degree, I'll be able to attend medical school. And ultimately, the goal is to work on the athletic staff for the University of Florida. So, there you go. Seniors, we wish you the best and we can't wait to see what you accomplish. And now to Jada for a DIY craft. Hi guys, it's Jada. And during this time of uncertainty we are all experiencing, you have probably heard of the shortage in masks. So I found some ways that you can make them at home that do not require sewing. The one I'll be showing you requires a bandana and two hair ties.
There are several other patterns on the internet, the one I gave you and a few others at www.cdc.gov. Stay safe. Thanks, Jada. Now for this week's shout outs. It's Hunter. Hope you're being safe. Hey there, everybody. This is Luke. Hope you're all well and staying safe away from this coronavirus. And, uh, yeah. Don't forget to keep sending in shout outs and keep checking your school email. That's all we have for this week. I'm Olivia Waxman, and this has been GCTV.